Good morning, folks. Lot to cover today. We're going to hit a major earthquake, the major storm in the Middle East, solar forcing of yet another health outcome, the launching of a cosmic jet, and an X-ray machine for Earth's magnetic field. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we find things were mostly quiet. Few confined flaring events up north couldn't produce significant CMEs. We're seeing flaring rates drop off here this morning and calm in the solar wind and Earth's magnetic field. Let's get a quick peek there at the GOES X-ray flux. You can see how the flaring is dropping back down this morning. We still have reason to be monitoring the larger sunspot group on the north. With decay at the other active regions, it has been the lone flare maker for a couple days. Likely to be the same again today if there is flaring. Quick note on the solar wind, a minor trailing coronal hole stream arrived this morning, but offered only the slightest enhancements to the stream. All good geomagnetically. We showed this a couple days ago. The next coronal hole system is turning in to face the Earth. You can already see the first glimpse of that opening zone on the left side where a darker patch can be seen. That will appear to grow in the days ahead, only about one or two more days, and Earth magnetically connects to the region. Its solar wind should be in Earth's plane of orbit as well. Up next, folks, the 7.1 earthquake that struck near Mount Everest yesterday has killed 95 people. Tremendous shaking in the region, buildings going down, landslides in rural zones, prayers for those affected. You likely also heard about the major flooding in Saudi Arabia. A tremendous storm drew moisture off the sea and dumped all of it on the desert. Brutal scenes coming out of the Middle East the last two days. Cleanup has barely even begun and there really isn't even a good solid guess on a death toll yet. Interesting paper up first in the articles today studying retinopathy and solar activity cycles. They found that either too weak or too strong of solar activity at birth actually determines eye health moving forward later in life. Only other major factor was gestational age. Folks, hopefully you recall the changing look galactic nucleus they say actually had a magnetic reversal event while they were watching. Similar situation unfolding here today where the jet re-emergence after the flip is seen launching from the galactic core. Excellent follow-up study to previous ones. Feel free to read at the link below. Lastly, folks, great news for Earth and Sun scientists and those interested in Earth's magnetic field. Lexi will sit near the lunar pole and get uninterrupted views of the Earth and Earth's magnetic field. Not only will this help analyze solar storms, but once we get the baseline readings, we can actually use this to track the pole shift, the weakening of Earth's magnetic field. Folks, the mini-conference schedule for the pole shift days at Observer Ranch is there in yellow. We've got a special meetup day coming on the 21st. And of course, August Dunning coming May 3rd and 4th for the big two-day event. That's me and him taking on an entire day. More announcements are coming. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.